Hello everybody, welcome back to the Angry Mama channel. And what we have for you today, well, what I have for you today is another cooking episode with me. Make some lights on so we can see a little bit better. Okay. So today, um, you saw me use bacon yesterday in my recipe and that will be incorporated in with it today. I only have three pieces left. So I'll just go over the basic things that you need for this. First off, you need to set your oven to 350 again. I have a set to that. Take this, since I only have three pieces of bacon, I only need a small one. So first, what you do is you spray the, spray that. And then you take your hot dogs. Um, it could be anything. I have great value from Walmart because they're good. I always do a hot dog check before I um, open them. Yeah. So I will be grilling these later. I don't even think I can open them. Let me get some scissors. But yeah, so first off, you spray your pan. Try and attempt to open your hot dogs. I can't open them. Why do they have to make this so difficult? Ah. Damn. There we go. Open your hot dogs. No matter what. Which way possible you open them is fine. Got to get a paper plate. So we'll be using three hot dogs today. Ew, hot dog juice. Oh yeah, make sure you wash your hands too if you just touched cooked food or cooked meat. Because you don't want to touch raw meat with, um, with cooked meat. So then, the recipes you need is hot dogs. Cheese. Yeah, I know, a big block of cheese. And be gone. So first off, what you do is you take a knife. Any knife will do, as long as it's sharp. You move these hot dogs over here. I'm going to make like a hot dog cheese thing later on the grill, but that won't be part of the video. First off, you cut your cheese open. It's very hard to cut. You know? God. Now whoever made this cheese really does not want you eating it. Okay. I got the cheese open. Barely. Grab myself a bit plate. So cut yourself a block of cheese. Get this out of the way. Yo, I hurt my thumb on that, dude. I don't know if you can see it, but like my thumb is like imprinted now. So that what you do is you take your hot dogs after you cut your block of cheese. Since this cheese is really flexible, you don't have to do this. If you have like the flexible American cheddar cheese, um, good thing they landed on the plate. <laughs> but still, though, if, if they do do that, um, you wash them off. So let me just um, wash this off real quick. This one's still good. So let me wash these two wieners off. Okay, so you wash your wieners if that happens. Put them back on the plate. What you do is you take your knife and you cut the hot dog down the middle. Not completely in half though. So you can pick it up to do this. You just take your knife, poke it in, and cut. like so and then just open it up a little bit and then take your cheese and cut it straight down like that straight down you know it'd be nice if i had a longer countertop but it is what it is um you take your cheese the hot dog that you cut and you stuff the cheese in the part of the hot dog you cut open Although, this is a too thick of piece of cheese, so I should probably thin that out some. There we go, that's better. You take it, you put it in. Now I get all my recipes from Angry Mama. Another piece of cheese and so on. If you guys want to skip ahead in the video, 
it gets to the part where I'm not shoving cheese and hot dogs, be my guest because this might take a little bit. Same process for this dog. You cut it down the middle. You spread it open. Make sure you don't cut it completely so this side is busted open so you don't want to do that. So then you take your cheese, that piece of cheese wasn't going to work, so make sure you cut thin pieces too, not thick, thin. Then you take your cheese and you put it in the middle. If you can get it in the middle, it would help. Whew. This is not easy, let me tell you one thing that... This is not easy wrapping hot dog cheese. Okay, hot dog is now wrapped in cheese. Then you take your last wiener, cut down the middle, take another piece of cheese. You could cut it into multiple little things like I'm about to do right now and put it in like each individual block because that would work as well. So you don't have to do like a long piece of cheese. You could just do like a small block. Oh, this hot dog I didn't cut really well. Make sure you guys um, stay tuned for part two of the video which will be later on so after you take your cheese and hot dogs and stuff yes i will eat this later or i will use it for the hot dogs outside um so then you take your bacon bacon and make sure since i only have three pieces you wrap it around the hot dog and make sure it's completely wrapped and if you need multiple pieces you use multiple pieces but since i only have three pieces of bacon left i'm using one per dog And I already said heat your oven to 350. Um, after you heat it to 350, you do all this stuff. And then you put it in the oven until done. That means until the hot dogs cook and everything else. And then part two, I will show you guys what to put on the dogs and stuff like mustard, ketchup, all of it. And I'll even do part two of Angry Mama trying it. I should have got her on video yesterday trying um, pizza, or it was pizza. So after that, um, you place the hot dogs in here. Like that. And then you take your oven. The door. And put it in. All right, and then you cook until everything is complete, melted and cheesy and everything, and then you're done. Stay tuned for part two.